Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to uh, some Cold Fusion stuff, I think. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a module and we're going to set a variable in the module and then we're going to kick that variable back out to the to the calling page. Um, it's a very simple thing to do. We're just going to show you here. So we're going to let's do our module first. We'll do uh, we'll do a see if if uh, this tag execution mode equals oops helps if I use the right spelling um, equals start for kicks and then we'll go ahead and save this file as our module here save it in our web root here um, let's call it module test to see if that and the only thing that this is going to do is it is going to set a caller and we're going to give the caller the variable of greeting. And we'll set that to hello world. Easy enough. Save that. Create a new one and this will be the module test request. Let's go ahead and save that. And uh, we're going to call the module and the template will be module test CFM. And then in order to get that, we're going to do a CF output and we're going to call the variables. It returns a structure. We're going to do variables like greeting. Save that. So we're going to go ahead and open up our browser here and we are going to navigate to this module test request. So there's our browser. Host And there's our module test request and there's our hello world. So if we go back in here and let's uh, let's set another caller and we'll call this um, a goodbye. Goodbye world. Save that and we will do a BR tag dot goodbye that guy go back to our firefox refresh and then we have it so you could i mean you could you could just pop out as many things as many variables as you want uh to prove that there is nothing in the variable variable scope above we'll do a cf dump var variables we do a same thing after we populate and so the first structure will be empty there it is and the second structure will have our variables in it so anyway it's a very simple thing to do it's it's nice um, obviously you, sh you could do things with uh, functions and whatnot and um, object oriented programming, but if you need it just to do something with in a module, um, easy to do that way. And uh, so, there you go returning variables that you set in a module. All right, have a good day. Bye now.